Well, this is one moment this occasion, something I've been waiting for for a good chunk of the last five years. And this is the remake to uh, Final Fantasy VII. I've been waiting a long, long time for this. So, pretty excited about unveiling this. Um, it's a really nice uh, picture to start off here, uh, showing the main reactor of Midgar. Um, So here we are starting. Um, as you can see, you know, automatic saving. So really good shot. There's not going to be very much in the way of save points here. Um, no save crystals, in other words. So we'll go through all that. So here we go. Press any button. We did that. We're going to go to the options real quick. Just going to go through them and just kind of discover what's there. I actually thought, oh, that was fine. I don't like to mess with the camera and controls too much, but um, I, I was between classic and normal. Um, I choose classic to start because, you know, I am more used to the um, turn-based way of playing it. So the classic way seemed to me that I could be more focused on that. Um, so that's what I'm going to end up starting with here. Um, again, just, just to start with. And when I played the demo, that's actually what I had done, too. And actually, it looks like I did keep it on normal. I thought I switched it. Maybe I do switch it. I don't know. This was last night. So, anyway, new game. Um, I'm not really sure what these camera controls mean. You could test it out. Um, every time I move the uh, joysticks, it, it pretty much was the same to me so it didn't really particularly matter um the cameras are something that i am going to complain about quite a bit in this as wonderful as this game is um i am definitely going to be complaining heartily about the cameras because i suck at rotating them it's just not something i'm good at any game ever in my lifetime i've ever played never was good at doing so um, so I don't know that inverted x-axis, y-axis, shit means, I don't know. Okay, so now here's where you can set the difficulty of the game as well. And I believe I do choose classic here. And I did. And here we go, we're about to start, and this is the open, uh, cutscene. So, uh, I'm gonna stay fairly silent and let this, uh, kind of play out. And just kind of be suggestive here and there. I believe, if I was to guess, that might be the um, the gold saucer desert. Even though you don't really see the gold saucer here, that I can tell, but it sure looks like it. Or it could be the desert right outside of Midgar. But I just remember that being so dark from the original that it didn't seem to me what that was it. But it must be since it's so close. Anyway, you got the bird flying in there. It's like a raven, or it's just a dark bird. So it gives off. Uh, macabre sense and here we are in Midgar and you can tell already it actually looks like a real city right looks almost like it reminds me a little bit of like seeing pictures of Tokyo can't imagine why Japanese game and all you can tell it's just more lively it just looks more real it doesn't look like a video game really it looks like a something in real life the cars and dog that's sitting there and all that shit. It just looks so real to me. Absolutely awesome. A great opening scene so far. And it just gives you a real hint of, okay, this is a bustling city full of a lot of people. That's the playground. It's right outside of Wall Market. Well, at least in our perspective anyway, we're outside of Wall Market. In this game, who knows? <laughs> And there's the Amis, look at the reactor. And now we get into the famous, we're, gonna get, uh, we're going to get into the famous scene with uh, Eris, the flower girl. And you should remember this in the dark alley, looking at something or other.
super awesome green eyes. Never can tell what she's running from there, but you can tell she's afraid of something. Oh, this is fairly reminiscent retread. Some extra stuff added to it, you know, for effect and whatnot. And it pans out the Loveless Theater thing. Very iconic with the with the first reactor. There we go, and here's our game, the one year is the one you remember, y'all. I don't love the fact that it has remake in the title, it's just silly to me, but... I guess there really isn't a better word that they can use, but now here's the train scene that we all remember and love. You got Cloud on top of it, you actually see the material holes in the sword, in the Buster sword. It's all exceptionally well done. And now it shows Mega Reactor 1, so it actually gives you the uh, chapters and shit, which is cool. Love the soldier costumes. There's Biggs. The iconic kick by Jesse. You remember that in the first, in the original? Should all look super familiar. Even the music should be very, very familiar. Get down here, Murray. You can tell it's been updated, but it definitely has the feel. I'm sorry, Cloud Sword looks sick. So I have played the demo, but it, it was a month ago. So you get some tutorials about battling and whatnot. And it shows you like what the difficult different difficulties mean. So I was actually reading it. <laughs> unusual for me. Usually I just kind of roll through, but I didn't like the fact that the classic uh, setting You're coming with has a di nice easy, easy battle difficulty. I don't like to play games where it's super difficult, but I don't want it to be a cakewalk either, so it's just not that much fun. You know, it's, it, 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 if you make it too easy, it's like playing through a movie, and I don't really want to play through a movie. kind of want to experience the game itself, and and I'm kind of just running around here just to kind of see what it, what's there additionally, just to kind of look around it and stuff like that. And not only that, but I didn't know or remember if you would be able to get potions from the downed soldier that was there. If you remember correctly, you know, in the original Final Fantasy game, you were able to snag three potions from that soldier, which you can't hear. So, just one of many, many changes that I don't have time to dissect every single one of them for you. But you'll figure it out. Who in the hell? Hands so as you can see right here, this is already a huge addition. You already see stuff being added on. Have fun. As Cloud distracts everybody trying to let the rest of Avalanche into the uh, reactor. 
So the ATB gauge does exist here, but in order for it to even power up, you have Freeze. to actually just you know, perform melee attacks and you know AR ARPG type attacks. Um, and then at that point, that's when you can do magic and use items and whatnot. So you kind of have to earn your spot. Magic? Yeah, I can. All right, there, Punchy. Nothing to it. All right, so we're still getting trophies and whatnot. So that's always cool. So just again giving you uh, some info about the mat menu and stuff like that. And it's going to show you spots where you can actually perform an action by, I think, pressing circle. Um, to where you may have to jump over something or sneak by something or whatnot. So, just doing some old fashioned exploration. So there you go. More soldiers coming weapon. down. It's already so much more than it was before. I think there's only like six or eight random battles yeah. from what the last said. one. So again, Cloud is playing the spoiler here. He's trying to let Avalanche through. He's the mercenary here, so he's the one doing that part of the work. You're coming with us. Regarding an evading, I don't evade ever. I should. Why well, might do evade? But I don't block or any of that shit. I just kind of you know. I'm like Rocky. I take a beating. And I'm a button masher. I'll admit it. That's why I don't do well with Dark Souls. Anyway. One thing I, I, was, I was noticing as I was playing this, I was actually having a really tough time kind of remembering where the hell I was after a battle was done, like what way to go, and it's not the really the first time I felt that. So uh, we do have chests in this game. So potions, that's good. Yeah, I am going to meet them. And you can also see that um, I think the last game I remember being able to do this in like this type of game with Xenosaga where you could actually destroy things that are around you in order to find items and stuff like that. So here I'm actually switching the difficulty to normal. I felt like the classic was almost cheap and cheating. <laughs> so we're not doing that at this point. So it's just showing you like some of the boxes that you can smash your sword that you can get items and power up from. So it, it teaches you the shit as it comes up. <clears throat> so there's Wedge. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this uh uh what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Real joy to work with, though. Real joy to look at, too. Here we go. So this is your first little hint that Jesse actually yeah, kind of has a crush on him. And you kind of get that feeling in the original, but it, they expound upon it a bit more this time. Avalanche is actually really, really a part of the crew in this game. You'll see that as we go along. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Yeah. Cloud's pure stoicism is a treat through most of this. Which? Uh, <sighs> you better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. This is all pretty much trademark shit. So, um, you know, and it really shows the reactor. Just letting you as a player kind of understand the gravity of what's going on. Here I am trying to remember where the fuck I was going that I remembered. Um, locking on the targets, I actually kind of think is pretty important. Um, 
super important actually, but that kind of you can automatically get that changed get by going. kind of just going towards who you're uh, yes, going you're after. <laughs> now these guard dogs, and you only caught them in the very beginning, they're actually fairly tough. I was uh, a little shocked about that they were kind of tough, you know, especially for it being the beginning of the game. Um, and I'm right now still kind of learning what I'm doing. Um, I haven't played a melee game like this since God of War, so it's, it's been a minute. Um, I just got done playing on about 110 hours, 120 hours of Final Fantasy X. Uh, so, playing a game like this, it's right. taken me a little while to get used to it. Um, you can see all the hit points this motherfucker has, though. It's crazy. Was never in doubt. So guard dogs were one-shot kill in the original Final Fantasy VII. And here it takes 30 seconds to a minute just to beat it down. So. Plus they have really good dodging ability. This is, here's another one. There's another soldier there. The actual soldiers are pretty easy to know. They're really, really easy, honestly. So you get him staggered, which is good. And you can see when he's staggered, he has zero defense whatsoever, so you can hit him for a lot harder. So, not bad. Whenever you get a, um, a foe staggered like that, you really want to take him down quickly. And again, me trying to remember where the hell I'm going. I know that's now right because, well, they're running, so obviously. Don't you feel a little taken advantage of? I feel a little taken advantage of here. Uh, much different elevator. You know, Jesse isn't lazy, making you press it. I think that's the same elevator. I am. That was just my thought when I was playing it. Like, okay, that's a silly looking elevator. At least I'm on it by myself, so I actually have reason to press it for myself. So, getting used to the camera angle a little bit and kind of going all over the place. Shinra boxes, so recovered HP. Not that I had to recover it, but it's recovered. Got a potion, so uh, I'm going to caution you all, those who are watching this right now, is that potions are super important in this first reactor. Hell of a lot more important than they were the last time. You'll see eventually why. On this video, you'll see why, as a matter of fact. So I'm just slashing shit. I just want to kind of make sure that there's nothing else here. I'm still trying to kind of figure out where items are, seeing if there's so many different things you can We've destroy. Got company. Oh, more fuckers coming, so we need to take care of them. Should be easy. <laughs> I mean, and as typical, you kind of want to take out the most difficult guy if you can first. So there we go. Uh, see ya is something that Titus always said, so that just gives me some frustrating memories. I like Final Fantasy Ten. I just hate Titus's character. I think he's a whiny bitch. That's just me, though. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on my HP was something that I actually had to kind of get used to with this game. So as you can see, these reactors are pretty damn big. A lot more to go through, you know. It's, and the backgrounds are so well done. I was. I'm not surprised. I knew Square would come out. I, I knew that Square had to be very faithful, but also make this a big deal, and that's exactly what they did. At least thus far. At the time of me uh, talking to you all about this, I'm only about three hours in. So... Yeah.
Yeah, I'm just again, smashing shit around just for funsies. Alright, so it took an awful long time to get to this part, right? You know, this is where they separate and they, uh... This is really the real entrance to the reactor. If you remember correctly, this is actually kind of the spot where, when they were escaping, where you see it actually blow up in the original Final Fantasy VII game Soldiers from 1997. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few Baron reactors. being a smartass. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? Ain't holding out on me, are you? And it is Mako, not Mako. I was, I was Mako. Damn scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. If a reacting Mutt? Different reactor layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. I'm watching you. Alright, motherfucker. Two. Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Nobody. Oh, wait! It's over! Cloud is nearing. That's my line. So yeah, he does have two modes. Um, I He's don't alone. use Punisher mode that much because it makes me slower. But for reasons of tutorials, I'm going to use it here. At least a little bit. We can take it! Make it rain! That's that. Make it rain, that's funny. We're back! Then let's move. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. Bear obviously doesn't like her flirtation. He's not a fan. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? Huh. And we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> I got this place covered. Right, so again, destroying some shit. What are you waiting for? By the way, this is also really good anger management. Some items and shit in here, so we want to make sure we collect those. Don't miss anything if you can help it. Phoenix Downs will also come in handy. And I remember when I was playing God of Looks War like the elevator's for the first time floor. two years ago, pushing that button? where the first major boss guy gave Looks me like the elevator's a on another floor. ass kicking. Pushing that button? This is a little bit reminiscent of that. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Oh. Brand new memory gives you a little glimpse at Nibelheim, which is nice. And they did a really nice job with this, too. I mean, it's like, it really makes it so that I can't wait to play the next parts of this. Are you ignoring me? 
So obviously that's Tifa as a little girl. Tifa and I. Without having a memory. <laughs> that happens a lot. Bear's a dick. <clears throat> you move forward. So you get a little now. You get a little glimpse into uh, Shinra, and Shinra in this case actually knows what's going on, which I thought was cool. So you get Heidegger and uh, President Shinra. So you actually get your first glimpse into the, uh, some of the Shinra to call characters. Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako right. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again! <laughs> Alright Samuel L, chill out. I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. So right away you can see the max rays. Um, a little more of a pain in the ass in this one than they are in the original. I think max rays have the least amount of HP of any of the you enemies that you face. In, at one least in the original, move. not in this one. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> hint, hint. Just. Bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Cloud's one-liners are phenomenal. So now you get a chance to finally go work with Barrett and uh, get to try out his gun arm. So it's a Gatling gun, you don't have to worry about ammo, he's always got ammo. He doesn't worry too much about that. As you can see, he, yes, he can, uh, he can attack long range, but it does take a minute. <laughs> um, he's only hitting for three, four, sometimes only one hit points at a time. So. I just want to keep your eye on that. Now for the real so after a while, you can you know really pump out some pretty good uh, shots too. Spitfire just trying to figure out where that max ray is at. Then forgetting there was one up there. Now yeah, these mono drives, uh, these guys were also, you should really recognize all of them, right? Intergalactic planetary. They, hit, they can hit for a decent punch, too. reason it also took me damn near forever to try to figure out how to switch between both of them. I don't know why that took me so long. Look what we have here. The laser security system. 
So as you can see, as you go through different sections, it's a good little mini game here. Um, rushing through the lasers, just trying to figure out their pattern. You've done this kind of thing before. Yeah, figure out the timing of the lasers, then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. So you could dash R1 or R2. I tend to be also really, really bad at uh, pattern retention. I didn't do well, Simon says. Wasn't my favorite game. Thanks, Jesse. Much obliged. Your approval is so important. Yeah, dumbass. Dumbass. Alright, that was less dumbassy. Oh my god, stop being a cheerleader. Like I shut the fuck up, huh? More potions. Very nice. Up to 17 of them. In retrospect, probably shouldn't have wasted them, but y you really do need them, so. Look. They don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad. And so, as a custom sweeper, you, you should recognize that turn. guy. Um, it's the one where you had to actually hit with bolt, and one hit with bolt would actually kill it. But it had, still had a lot of hit points for. Ah, we can take where was that? But that hunk of junk is a heavy weapon platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? Need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. No escape. Gotta love it. So switching between me and Barrett was just something I wasn't doing, and I should have been. I could probably get hit and smuck her with bolt a couple times and uh, Mr. Custom Sweeper would have been customarily hurting. Hey! It's not moving! Let's pin it down. Give it all you've got. So when you go to tactical mode like that, you can actually do that shit. So that's when I was using his uh Bolt attack. And interestingly enough, too, is that if you remember correctly, Cloud was the one who was equipped with Bolt and Ice. But yet, in this case, Cloud actually has Fire, and Barret has Lightning and Cure, which is so antithetical to how I played this in the original. I would never give Barret any kind of magic whatsoever. It just seemed. He just didn't seem like a magic user. So that was a weirdish thing. Now's our chance. Go. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay, you go ahead and enjoy it, there, Barrett boy. I kind of like letting Cloud do the damage close up to him, with having Barrett work the outside. Um, Cloud just kind of seems to take less damage when he's uh, being controlled by the AI as opposed to you. Well, especially with me, because like I said, I, I take I take a, I take an ass beating whenever I play these games. So. And then I get pissed off and wonder why. Oh, shut the fuck up, Barrett. Uber. And as usual, we're following Jesse. It's what we did in the uh, OG. All look really familiar. Yeah, so they did Outside a really, target. really nice Elite job of making it new, but but keeping the nostalgia alive. 
really beautiful mix, especially in this first reactor. God damn. I can practically taste the mako in here. Hurry it up. All that green shit, that's the mako. In case anyone was wondering. Oh, it's pounding like a jackhead. Scared, huh? <laughs> More like excited. I've been dreaming about this for years. Heads up, boys. The end's in sight. Remember what we said about uh, Shinra boxes? around Jesse chill the fucking chill you chill you chill yourself out girl try to keep up These fucking mono drives are pain in the ass in this pain in the ass I'll fight soldiers and grenadier, grenadier, grenadiers, 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 whatever, all day. But these damn mono drives are a pain, and they—they'll do a number on you too. They'll take a decent amount of hit points off you. Sounds like something my daughter would ask. Idea what a Moogle medal is, by the way. I, mean, I remember Moogle's from is Final Fantasy IX. So, as a, as a cautionary tale to not waste all of your potions. A little bit of Barrett's MP. It's the longest ladder on Earth. Yeah, let's do this. But now we're at the bottom, so. And usually, if you remember correctly, that's where the save point used to be, and it's well not there. Okay, um, this boss battle, the very first boss battle, is fucking hard. Wasn't really expecting it. Now I played this boss battle on the demo, right. but I played it under classic mode. And well, playing really it under normal, a little bit harder. Hmm. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of you're us. Going there, Barrett. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job. Fine. 
What about the timer? Your call, Merc. Freaky memories keep happening, huh. too. That long enough for you? Makes a little more sense. Uh -huh. I like the way they did it much better in this, because it just says... Because the voices has this something arbitrary. Anyways, um, Barrett thinks he double crossed, but this is the Gar Scorpion. It's actually called the Scorpion Sentinel, Sentinel Scorpion, something like that. Anywho, yeah, this is not fun. So as you see, that one hit just took 213 off the cloud. So, um, so what strategy did I use here? I didn't use any strategy at all. I just tried to hit it. Learning my menus, learning a bit how things work, and I started to get it a little bit more and more as I went along. Gotta heal up. And that attack kept pissing me off because you, you you're just like it's almost impossible to avoid. So now you enter tactical mode like that, you can actually switch back, and that's a really good time to use Thunder. And to be honest with you, I kind of wish, I kind of, kind of, kind of wish that I... This could have gone a lot smoother. Got anything you really want seriously. To Funny way to ask for help. This is really the time, Mr. Wallace. Okay, so he's down like that, so that's good. I want to hit it hard. You know, as you can see, Scorpion Sentinel. No, it's not a guard Scorpion anymore. Okay, so that, that took off a decent amount on him, but he also moves around a lot, right? It's this. weird. So, you know, fire is only 231, but it, it takes off these nice little chunks off of him. Back on tactical mode again. I'm gonna have to do this all by myself. Now he's up on the die goddamn side of the building. The hell is that? A barrier? Never seen this defense system before. Sir. Thought you were the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? They're just using the battle to keep bickering. That's what I said. Bounce right off. Nice drop, dumbass. Frontal assault's no good. That didn't work either. There! Attack it from the rear. Hi, right, soldier boy. Show me what you got. Still in it. Hit it to win it. And really the big thing is just trying to take out that generator, which is a pain in the balls to take out. Focus and find a way. That field generator is what was, you know, obviously allowing that force field to be present, so. Now I'm trying to figure out where the fuck he is. There he is, a way up on the wall. So, um, that means you have to use Barret at this point. The nice thing is you get a second when you do commands and stuff like that, so that's good. But Starting to get along with the menu a little bit more. We got a long way to go still. Think it through. As you can tell, he's not even halfway done with this, so. Another barrier? So that's the search scope. Much more effective here, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Still in it. Uh, gotta 
no more playing nice. So your first chance at looking at a limit break. Now the first limit break is actually not braver, but it is uh, cross slash. I really want to take out that field generator, but at the same time. Well, unfortunately, I activated it, and he's way the fuck up there, so that did a whole lot of nothing. Now that you're in tactical mode, gives you a chance to do stuff like that, you know, ether on uh, Barrett. Gotta heal up. I healed myself for 350 or whatever it was, and he just hit me for like 200 of back. So it's a real pain in the butt. That's the first death right there. Hey, you really gonna make me deal with this on my own? Well, not that I particularly want to, but it's shit, my dude. Time to shine. <laughs> or go down in flames. And the banter if continues. We don't it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both. Less talking, more shooting. How about less lift from Good you? idea. Gonna make your eyeballs pop. Huh? It didn't work. Can you tell him? Damn it! This thing is tough! It wouldn't be much of a weapon if it went down easy. Don't compliment the giant scorpion! Uh. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby! Now's our chance! Give it everything you've got! Bring in the heat! Come on! You see, we are still not even past halfway. <laughs> so... At this point, I gotta be honest, I'm a little scared I'm gonna lose a, the first major battle. Need to heal up, sir. Nice try. The hell are you playing at? Let's turn this around. Ah! I ain't going down by the goddamn score. Ain't much to suck on me. We're almost at halfway now, finally. Much at this point because oh. Cloud's got no. Don't just stand there. Help me out, damn it. There we go. Ah. Still Ouch. You good? Not as good as I'd be if you'd actually tried to help me out. Couple nice shots there. I think we actually might have them under 50% now, finally. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. A little more clear about the tail laser, by the way, there. Yeah, no way out of that one. Now, get in there and do some damage. Ouch. All right, so at this point, I'm actually really nervous that I'm going to die. There's no really kind of nervous. Well, obviously. That's my last Phoenix down, so I'm not really thrilled about that. Gotta heal up when I have the chance. Damn it. 
God, that attack pissed me off every time. Heads up, tail laser. I see it. Then take cover already. No escape. Now, go. No holding back. Couple nice shots there. Gotta be careful. Probably should have attempted using a grenade. I don't even try that, but gotta heal up. Ouch. Well, I ain't got much to heal up with, so you need to be careful about healing up at this point. Incoming. Take cover. There's really no other option. Wanna get shot? Be my guest. So a little more back and forth between both Bear and Cloud. Criticals in there, you know, after that tail laser goes off, it's the only good thing. Even better, I'm gonna guess you get a cross slash at him. That took off a nice chunk. So, not in too bad a shape. It's the last potion, though, so really gotta be careful. Now the scorpion's getting desperate because look, he's way down in energy, so. so we do have still have cure for bear, which is good. I ain't going down by the goddamn scorpion! There goes another. Now's our chance to do some. So you said, bro. There we go, and we got him. That's automated. Shit, the ball. Duh. <laughs> you hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. And that's all she wrote for video number.